Okay, this lesson is about latitude and biomes, and um, what our goal is is trying to look at the relationship between uh, biomes and latitude. So, by the end of the lesson, I want you to know what a biome is, and I want you to explain what latitude is, and then be able to explain what both of those two concepts have with one another. So, biomes and latitude. Well, biomes are different around the world. We know that from all those different types. But what we're looking at today is the reasons why. One of those reasons why is all to do with the location of the biome. Um, location is very important. Um, and one thing that we can look at in terms of location is latitude. Now, latitude is the number of degrees north and south of the equator. The, this affects biomes because it affects the amount of sunlight and affects the amount of precipitation a biome gets and that's why they're very very different so when we're looking at the amount of sunlight we're looking we're, we're basically talking about latitude because the shape of the earth different um, parts of the earth get different amounts of sunlight and um, we recall this as latitude um, is basically caused by the amount of solar radiation from the sun. So obviously, the middle part of the Earth, zero degrees, um, the equator, gets the most sunlight. It doesn't mean it's the hottest, but it means it gets the most sunlight. And that's why the sun affects the amount of not only sunlight, but also precipitation, because at the tropic, or well, between the tropics and at the equator, we get lots of rainfall, hence the biome that we get in the tropics is rainforests. This is how we separate the world into different lines of latitude. At the top, we have the North Pole, and that's 90 degrees north of the equator. The next one is the Arctic Circle, 66.5 degrees north. Now, these are some of the coldest places in the Northern Hemisphere because they're at the top of the Earth, and don't receive that much sunlight. As we go further south towards the equator, through the Tropic of Cancer, towards the equator, we get more sunlight. And as I said, between the equator and the Tropic of Cancer, we get lots of rain as well, because the Earth gets heated by the sunlight, which then heats the Earth, heats the air around it, and that gets moved towards the poles. However, on that journey, some of that heat heats up so much that it, it then turns into rain. And that happens um, south of the equator. So we get the Tropic of Capricorn, the Antarctic Circle, and South Pole. We can see here this diagram, um, what happens at the line of latitude and the amount of sunlight. That's called insulation percentage. So at the equator, we get 100%. As we go north and south degrees, we get less. So much so that when we get to the poles at 90 degrees, we only get 41.6%. This helps to explain why we, we have so many different biomes. The hotter, um, the more closer to the lat line, the zero line of latitude at the equator, the more sun, different type of biome. Whereas we get to the poles, it's the opposite. So as you can see, we've got the tropical rainforest in the center, and as we move out, we go to our polar um, ice caps. Okay, thanks.